Hello, good morning, Steve here. How are we doing? Another pork scratching video. If you haven't seen them before, oh, you're in for a treat. If you have, you know what's coming. Right. So, uh, my mate Johnny gave me these, which was nice, and uh, they're all the way from Somerset this time, rather than just a local Cambridge pub or uh, Tesco's. So, Richard's Side Farm, Black Country, Pork Scratching, sounds good. 100 grand bag, pound thirty, I believe, which is actually reasonable, because most of the Pork Scratching bags are usually like 30 gram or 70 gram or something like that. So this is quite a lot in here, actually. It's a it's full bag. And uh, Johnny rates them, so he kindly give me a bag. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I've had some disappointing ones recently. This is how a scratching should be. I think I've said in the past that I prefer bags that say pork scratchings on them rather than pork crackling. It's a difference in the texture. And then there's these pork crackles as well, I think, something like that. And they're rubbish. It's all about scratchings. Crackling, crackers, or whatever they are. Nah. This is what you want, man. You've got the softness inside, you've got the hardness on the outside. You've got the flavour, you've got perfect seasoning. Maybe I need to move to Somerset. Because these are better. I suppose local butchers around Cambridgeshire probably do do decent ones that I haven't actually tried. I guess I've only been trying pub ones and supermarket ones, so I should probably um, head down some butchers, but mmm. Right. Well, what, what more can I say? Brilliant. Thanks, Johnny. That was a very nice bag. Plus, it's from a cider farm as well. And you know me. I like cider. So, I would imagine I'd be in heaven. Pork scratchings and cider. Bloody hell. Cheers. Red wine, though, to that. Bit early for that, really. Cheers.